Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. and this is Kathy Brock, amen, of LUTG Radio. Let us thank you, saying hallelujah, we made it, amen, amen, another day. Today is Tuesday, October 29, 2013. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Ooh-wee, hallelujah. Pardon me, give me the yawn in your ear. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus loves him from you, y'all. Oh, we, oh, we, we. I was so excited. I could barely sleep. Because I was like, hey, I get to talk to my people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah missing a day off the radio kind of, kind of, you mean, you'd be happy for the sleep and the rest, but at the same time, you feel like this boy, you feel like something's missing, not like a void of Jesus, but, you know, you just want to talk to people, anyway, uh, <laughs> you can hit me up on chat, definitely, and, uh, let's get started with the scripture, amen, 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 oh, one thing I did want to tell you is that, uh, Offer the gospel to everyone. Uh, at these big events, uh, there we have these big evangelism events. There are people that are getting missed. Uh, sometimes events are too big that they can't even make it make it to the front, and they can't hear what's being said and whatnot. So uh, start putting these. Uh, start putting the prayer uh, prayer of salvation on uh, on fans on the walls uh, on the screen. You know, especially if you only have one screen that's all the way in the front, um, put it on the backs of the chairs. Give it to them as they enter. You know what I mean? Make it available. Here we go. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the but that the world through Him might be saved. Mark nine twenty three, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Deuteronomy thirty four and seven, and Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Psalms one forty seven and three. He healeth the broken in heart and bind them up their wounds. John 16 and 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. That's right. John 14, 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. That's right. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. We're not necessarily putting an influence on the words in that, because uh, we want we don't want to change what God is doing. But all we're merely doing is basically paying attention to the common. Amen. The commas and the uh, punctuations because they mean something. It's like when Jesus says, truly, truly, or verily, verily. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, hey, stop looking. Listen, this is the straight truth. Here we go. Galatians 3.13 and 14. Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, a curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree that the Gentiles I'm sorry that the blessing of Abraham 
might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. John 1 17. For the law of Moses was I'm sorry, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house to a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Psalms 37 and 19 goes like this. They shall not be ashamed in the evil times and in the days of famine. They shall be satisfied. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. There's one more. Psalms 37 and 4. And it goes like this. Hallelujah. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thine heart. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Delight yourself in the Lord. Amen. Let's get our, our uh, confession on. Amen. Prayer confession. Hallelujah. This is where we acknowledge who we are in Christ Jesus and say good morning to the Lord. Amen. The Trinity, Jehovah, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, Jesus is the face of Jehovah. Je Jehovah God is the Father, the Source, the Great I Am. Jesus is the face of Jehovah. The Holy Spirit is the mind of Christ. And we are the body, are the hands of Christ, doing the work, going forth and preaching the gospel, healing in His name, telling people about Jesus. Amen. The Holy Spirit is also our comforter. Amen. Praise the Lord. Here we go. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. We receive the blessing of Abraham, of the Abraham covenant, and the promise of Jesus to do more than he, because he, Jesus went home to the Father. Thank you for this beautiful day. Ooh. Pardon me. We hear from you, Lord God, and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fear, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We shall keep your word in our hearts and minds. We shall love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain that's moved and every closed or blocked door that has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, uh, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural forces abated. And Moses, as Moses was so full of health and life, so are we. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies 
are not dumping grounds. We decrease unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us, and receiving your love, not subject to temptation, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But we always have more than enough all the time. <sighs> Pardon me. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are the, are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's will, the one man cannot see. If God if God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath. Going forward and not back with the beloved and the sign of God, we count it all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it, in a, receive it abundantly. Stand on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. God gives us oh, pardon me, uh, the hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor. In the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior, amen. Jesus loves them some you, beloved. In John 14 and 12, Jesus says to his disciples, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works, uh, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Except it, 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 when that is not a challenge to you, that is a fact. Uh, it's, it's it's not even a promise. It's just a fact that because you are saved and you are in Christ Jesus, you have been redeemed. You have the power of God, the mind of Christ. You will do greater things than he because, well, his work on earth as a man, uh, going forth being the son of Jehovah, as a man uh, walking this earth, that ministry for him is over. But it live, his ministry lives in us. So we will do greater things. We will save more people. We will heal more people. We will deliver more people because we are still here. The ministry is carrying on. We're still preaching his gospel. And it's all coming by his power, by his salvation, his sacrifice. So it, it, the word is right on target. But you don't have to wait for something, uh, some prophecy from somebody or some miraculous thing. The, mar the miraculous has already happened. And it's continuing through the word and through faith. So just believe. Remember, everything about Jesus begins with faith. So simply believe. Amen? And listen to that small, still voice. Because that's the voice of God. Alright, y'all. We got the music here. Amen? We got the altar in the last five minutes of the segment. And me and you. And here's the Impact Worship Band, Love of My Life. Amen. Glory to God.
but fall in love with you. Amen. Glory to God. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved, and he truly, truly only wants the best for you. Hallelujah. It begins with salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Remember, salvation is available to everyone. It's a free gift. 
regardless of your uh, religious background, uh, orientation background, you like, you mean sexual orientation? No, I mean orientation, period. That could be sex, faith, whatever. People do some strange things, do things that I've never even heard of, and I've been around for a while. Uh, but God is saying, hey, I love you. I understand that you're doing these things, but I want you to remember, I love you, and salvation is for you. And salvation is now. It's available now for you. So never put off salvation. Receive it immediately. It'll save your life. It'll save mine. Amen. So God wants you to know that He's here for you because He didn't send the uh, God. God sent not the Son into the world. God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Jesus came here strictly for salvation purposes. He didn't come here to condemn anybody. He could have did that from heaven. Matter of fact, God has done that straight from heaven. He ain't have to leave heaven to do that. Look at your Bible. Folks was jacking off at the mouth. He sure he straight up. Tuned him up. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> that wasn't his point. His point, finally coming to the earth, was say, here, was to say, here, this is how you live a holy life. This is how you be faithful. You know, this is what God's word meant. This is what it means. So, he came here to show us the way. So, he wouldn't take all that time, you know what I'm saying, to come here to show us the way to then just condemn us. He came to save us. Trust me, he got on the cross for that purpose. It's for you. So if you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, let's do that now. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's a commitment, Jesus. I will get this word for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. That's LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find the church, get baptized with water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. And remember, Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved, 100%. Follow me to segment two, my peace.